hello everyone welcome to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to deactivate the picklist value in salesforce and we are going to learn this concept for both salesforce lightning as well as a classic interface so let's proceed and firstly understand what does we mean by a deactivating a picklist value in salesforce so in salesforce deactivating the picklist value means making a certain options or choices from the picklist field on a record inaccessible for the selection basically you are not able to select that option anymore we can effectively make a picklist value unavailable to users when they are filling out or modifying a record by deactivating it in addition to this the deactivating a picklist value is beneficial in multiple situation such as uh, when you are no longer needed uh, you no longer applied bal it for your business processes it become a uh, outdated or it prevent a misunderstanding in some fields or maybe it look like a improper data entry and in all such cases you can deactivate the value even it can be useful when uh, we wish to simplify the picklist field selection and restrict the choices to those that are already expected and widely used moreover by deactivating a picklist value it doesn't actually delete or remove it from the system the value is still in the field configuration and it is available for the future use if necessary so if you want to understand it with the help of a example let's suppose that you are uh, working with some organization in salesforce and uh, you got a task to a uh, disable a payment method that is a cash for some time for the client as uh, the result you need to deactivate the value because you don't need that uh, thing uh, at the particular point like in the covid uh, arise when we are not able to accept the cash so we will deactivate that value that we are not going to accept the cash at that moment and uh, we can only accept the different payment methods so now let's proceed and learn to deactivate the picklist value in salesforce lightning interface so your first step is to log in into your salesforce account in the lightning interface and make sure that you are in the lightning one if you are not on the lightning redirect uh, to the lightning first and in most of the cases you will uh, log in to the application home page not on the main setup home page of the lightning interface and for this you need to click on the gear icon that is given on the top side and you need to click on that and from here you need to select up the setup option that is given the first one and it takes you to the setup for the current app and it opens up the new tab and uh, it takes you to the main setup home of a lightning interface so once you successfully reached on the page of the lightning interface now you need to click on the object manager option that is given on the top of the navigation bar next to the home and once you click on this object manager tab it open up the page that shows you the list of all the objects that are in salesforce either it is a custom or the standard one and uh, from here now it's time to decide up the object for which uh, you want to deactivate the picklist value so you can scroll down and search for the object name or you can simply use the quick find functionality to search it out as uh, in this example i have uh, going to show you for the product object so i simply type the product in the quick find box and once i type the product it will show me the result regarding this product and here i get multiple result and out of this i am deciding to go with this product so here i click on this product object it open up the page where i will get the, all the details and the options that are available for this product object in salesforce now i click on the fields and relationship option that is given on the left side of the menu on the second point once i click on that it takes me to the page where i will get the list of all the fields that are in this product object either it is a custom one or a standard one now it's time to choose up the picklist value uh, or a picklist field whom you want to deactivate it the value here we have a multiple uh, options of a picklist and now it's time to choose up the picklist whose value you want to deactivate it you can either scroll down the list or simply use the quick find box to do that the here i have uh, going to deactivate it the value for the payment method 
so here is that so i click on this field option and it takes me to the particular page regarding this payment method wheel and uh, once i reached on that page i simply scroll down and uh, here i move to the value section here you can see that here i have all the values that are in this and uh, now i am going to decide it that we are not going to work on this check and uh, i'm decided to deactivate that particular value okay so for this i simply click on the deactivate link that is given next to that particular value here we have a three option added delete and deactivate so i click on this deactivate value next to the check when i click on that deactivate value it gives me a pop-up and uh, if i click on that it uh, delete up or uh, deactivated up the pick list value this pop-up occurs to assuring that you are assured that you want to deactivate this particular pick list value so as i am assured so i click on the ok button and once i click on the ok button it uh, successfully deactivated the pick list value you can see that it deactivated the value check from the value section and it moves to the inactivate value section that this value is no more active for working so with this we have successfully learned up how to deactivate the value of a pick list field in a salesforce lighting component now we will proceed and learn to deactivate the pick list value in salesforce classic so for this you firstly need into login into salesforce account as an administrator and then you need to shift to the classic interface i click on my profile here i have option of a switch to a salesforce classic i shift to the salesforce classic interface if you are already on the classic you don't need to do get, go with that process it's only for those persons who are shifting from the lightning to the classic once you successfully reach to the classic interface you need to click on the setup option that is given on the top right and once you click on that it will take you to the classic setup page of a salesforce once you reach here you need to scroll down and on the left side you will get a build section and under this build section we have a customized drop down once i click on the customized drop down i will get the list of all the standard objects that are in salesforce now it's time to choose up the object whose uh, pick list value you want to deactivate i am going to show you the example for the cases this time so i search for the cases object once i get it i click on the drop down next to it once i click on the drop down value here i will get the multiple option for this uh, cases object so from here i click on the fields option once i click on the fields option it take me to the page where i will get the list of all the standard as well as a custom fields that for the um cases object the first we have a standard section and then we have a custom section now it's time to choose up the field whose value you want to deactivate it make sure that it is a pick list one so as we are doing up with the pick list so i am going to show you the example for the priority so here i have a priority field that is a standard one i click on that field and it take me to that particular field page of a case that is a priority now i need to scroll down and make myself to this case priority pick list value section where i will get the pick list values now it's time to uh, decided up the values whose you want to deactivate for some of the time so here i want to decide the value as a medium i want only two values as a low and high for the some moment of the time so i decided to do deactivate this medium value so i simply click on this deactivate uh, link that is given next to that value once i click on this deactivate it shows me a pop up that is assuring that i surely want to deactivate this value from that particular list yes i am assured so i click on the okay button once i click on the okay button it shows me that the pick list must contain at least one default value so this one is my default value so i am not able to deactivate it so here i click on the continue 
and once I click on the continue, it take me back to that page. Now either I have to change this from the default one or either I need to deactivate the other one. So let's uh, deactivate the high one. So now at this moment I click on the deactivate option given next to the high option. Once I click on this deactivate, it again shows me a pop up. I click on the OK as I want to assure to deactivate. And once I click on the OK, it successfully deactivated the pick list value high in a Salesforce classic. It's take me back to the page. Now I scroll down. Here you can see that from the cases priority pick list value section, it deactivated the high value. The high value is not more in that section. It takes that value to the inactivate values section that this high value is now deactivate. Later on, if you want to activate, we can activate that. So with this, we have successfully how to deactivate the pick list value in Salesforce Classic. In this whole video, we have learned the concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as the Classic to deactivate the pick list value. If you like this video, click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.